Hey, I want to take some time today to talk about a hot topic in the gun community, something that's always a controversy, and that is open carry. A lot of people love open carry and a lot of people hate open carry. It seems like there's not a lot of people in between. There's some, of course, but it seems like most people fall on one side or the other when it comes to open carry. Now, me, myself, I open carry quite often, but I live in a very rural area where most people don't care and I am very lazy. So I open carry a lot. I mean, I usually open carry my 44 Magnum 329 PD or my Beretta. And I have never had a negative experience yet from open carrying other than being asked to leave a business. And that never really bothers me that bad. That's private property. If they want to ask me to leave, fine, I'll take my business elsewhere. But a lot of people, you know, they want to open carry, but they're afraid to open carry because they hear all these things about, you know, if you open carry and someone comes in to rob a place, you'll be the first one shot. Or people are going to see you and they're going to think you're some sort of asshole just looking for attention and trying to start trouble. You know, there's all kinds of negative things to open carry. One of the big ones is, oh, well, someone can just come right out behind you and grab your gun. Well, there are a lot of positive and negative arguments for open carry. And I want to go over some of them today, some of the bigger fears people have. Now, when it comes to, you'll be the first one shot, well, that can't be proven or disproven. <laughs> because there's also the argument of, if someone comes in who's a bad guy who plans on robbing someplace, and they see people in there with guns, they'll be like, I'll come back later. <laughs> you know, so it could be a deterrent. So is it a danger to you or is it a deterrent to the criminal? That could be an either way argument and there's no way to prove that. That's the thing. There's no way you could actually illustrate how many people chose not to rob a bank or rob a grocery store because uh, someone was in there with a gun. I mean, banks love to put armed guards in there with a gun visible. If it was just a case of, well, the bad guys will just always shoot the armed guard first, well, then you think they wouldn't have them. Uh, but no, they obviously do serve some sort of deterrent. So uh, there is an argument, like I said, that can go both ways there. I lean towards the deterrent side of that argument. Uh, now there's also the argument of you're just looking like an asshole who's looking for trouble. And to those people I say, don't care what other people think. I mean, fuck them. If they have a problem with you, even though you've done nothing wrong, fuck them. Uh, don't worry so much about what people think. It's like the internet is so wrapped up in trolls and all this other stuff and trolls think they have power because people care when someone says something to them. They don't care and they have no power. So that's something I'm just like, you really shouldn't give a fuck what anyone else thinks. Uh, now, if you go on private property and that person thinks they don't want you on their private property, well, then you just leave their property. It's not a big issue. Don't worry about, don't worry about what people think. So that's not a big issue. Uh, and the other thing is uh, getting your gun stolen. That's another big fear a lot of people have. With if you're open carrying, people see you got a weapon. If they decide they want to just come up behind you and grab it out of your holster. Well, that's not really a valid argument. That's one argument I do take a lot of uh, exception with because it ain't that easy. Especially if you've got your arms at your side and someone tries, tries to grab your gun out of your holster. Uh, a lot of people say, you have to wear a retention holster if you're going to do that. It's got to have some sort of level of retention so that people can't take it out without pushing a special button, etc. And even to those people, I'm like, bullshit. Good leather holster will do. A uh, good Kydex holster will do. And uh, I actually want to set up a demonstration here in a minute. Uh, about how it is not as easy to take a gun from someone's holster as you think. So uh, I do want to address that fear as one of the fears that we can actually illustrate. We can't talk about a lot of the other fears because, you know, you either can't be illustrated or they're just something you shouldn't worry about. But this one is something we can actually illustrate. All right, for this next part of the video, for the actual demonstration, I'm going to need some very scary Antifa members. Luckily, there were two of them in my yard, my son, Caden, and his friend, Carson. 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 I know his name. I just forget it because he's very blonde and plain looking, so he's easy to forget. But uh, like I said, for this demonstration, I need some Antifa, and now I got him. Okay, here, let's look at how easy it actually is to yank someone's gun out of their holster from behind when they're standing somewhere. Let's say I'm standing somewhere I would normally be standing, like, oh, I don't know, maybe church. And in this scenario, I'm even going to cross my hands in front of my uh, stomach to give them more access to my gun, not just to uh, cover up my belly, but to give them better access to the gun and let you see still how they fail to get the gun out of my holster. 
The way holsters are designed, if you're not pulling up and forward, it's really hard to get a gun out of them, especially if it's a well-fit holster. That's why I always say, make sure your holster fits your gun. Doesn't have to be like, uh, you know, a retention holster with a strap and a button and all this other stuff. It just has to fit your gun. If it fits your gun, they're gonna have a hard time getting that out of there. If it's not some cheap nylon holster, if it's leather, if it's Kydex, if it's something like that, if it's just a decent holster made for your gun specifically and not 50 other guns also, they're gonna have real trouble getting that gun out of your holster before you can react. And in these situations, I'm not even reacting. I'm letting them pull until they about pull me down. And they still did not get the gun out of the holster even once. So if you think it's really easy to pull a gun out of a holster, try to pull your own gun out of your holster at a weird angle. It doesn't really work. You have to pull up and forward to get them out easily. So that whole notion of someone's gonna come right behind you and snatch your gun, uh, that's just not happening. How easily would it have been for me to, bam, elbow one of these kids in the face before they ever even got close to getting my gun out of the holster? It'd have been real easy. Uh, now, if you're going to say, well, someone will come up behind you and hit you in the head, and then while you're unconscious, take your gun. Well, yeah, that's a, something someone could do to anybody at any time. Someone just might come up and hit you in the head, period. Take your wallet. Uh, I don't think most people do that. But if you're th afraid of that, then maybe you should just stay inside, stay away from crowds, and, you know, maybe don't go outside because you seem a little frightened. But I just don't think the main arguments against open carry really hold any water. Uh, I don't care what people think. And as far as uh, you making you a target, mm, I lean more towards it's a deterrent than a target because who wants to take the chance? Because even hitting someone in the back of the head doesn't guarantee they're going down. <laughs> Might guarantee they whirl around and put a bullet in you. So I don't buy that argument either. As far as the, oh, it's just too easy for someone to come up and get you, I think we've shown that's not true. So as far as the arguments against open carry, I don't really go for most of them. All I say to people who say, well, what's the best way to start open carrying? What's the best way to go about it? The best way to go about it is just do it. Be safe, be careful, be aware where you're at. Like I said, if you're going to the grocery store or uh, the farmer's market or the gun shop, then it's probably fine. If you're going to the bank or the post office, well, then yeah, you don't open carry. Uh, you're not supposed to carry period in a lot of these places, but you know, if you're concealed, who knows? But if you're open carrying, then you're definitely breaking a rule if you go like into a post office or something with a gun. So just know where you're going in your day. If you're hanging around at the house or just going to the gun shop or just going to the hardware store where you know people ain't going to have a problem with it, open carry all you want. Uh, only conceal carry when you want to, uh, when you don't want to give up the element of surprise, or when you just don't want to deal with any hassle or maybe you're going somewhere you're not supposed to carry. Uh, that's on you, not on me. But like I said, as far as open carrying being demonized and being portrayed as unsafe, I just don't buy it. 